her mother asked her how she knocked over the glass. Her mother wanted to know how she knocked over the glass. Number eight, the policeman wanted to know how the man stole the money. Answer, the policeman tried to find out how the man stole the money. Number nine, we did not understand how he could carry the big box. Answer, we asked him how he could carry the big box. Number 10. We do not know how she joined the pieces together. Answer, she told us how she joined the pieces together. Number 11. We do not know how he found it. Answer, he told us how he found it. Number 12. They did not know how it got there. They wanted to know how it got there. Okay, dear student, look at this page number 31. Page number 31. See the example carefully. How high is the tree? This is an example. How high is the tree? How high is that tree? Question mark. Zia asked Mr. Shah. Zia asked Mr. Shah. This is question, answer with this one. You have done it, already done this one from your book. Zia asked Mr. Shah. This one, the last portion of the sentence, you have to write from the beginning. Zia asked Mr. Shah. Zia asked Mr. Shah. How high the tree the tree is full stop. How high the tree is look this one we have got this one. If we have got Past tense here, we change this one into was. Understood? Because this is past indefinite tense, that's why all helping, helping verb will be in the past. Because we have got the past tense from the beginning of that sentence. That's why we have to write here was. Full stop. Don't uh, put question mark, full stop. Zia asked Mr. Shah how high the tree was. Don't write uh, is. Because of this past, simple past. Number two. The other example is this one. How tall is Zay? Mrs. Jen asked Zora. Mrs. Jen asked Zora how tall. Zeb was. Number three, start. Number three. How old is Zia? Zora asked Lucy. Zora asked Lucy. Zora asked Lucy. How old Zia was? How old Zia was? Is changing to was number four. How long is the ruler? Mr. Jen asked Zia. Mr. Jen asked Zia how long the ruler was. Mr. Jen asked Zia. Zia how long? How long the ruler was? How long the ruler? 
how, how long the number was? Number five. How big is the boat? Maruf asked Umar. Maruf asked Umar how big the boat was. Maruf asked Umar how big the boat was. How big the boat was. The last one, number six, look at this one. How wide is the river? Zia asked Mr. Hyde. Zia asked Mr. Hyde. Zia asked Mr. Hyde. How wide the river was? How wide the river was? How wide the river? Was I hope that you understood this one very simple. The last part of your sentence, write this one from the beginning. Okay, they are asked Mr. Shah how I have three this one present helping work changing into the past, helping work is changing to was and write. Uh, uh, at the end of the sentence and at the end of the full stop. This one. From the beginning, this one. I hope that you got the point. The second one, read number one and two, then change the other sentences in the same way. Zohra asked Zia how he made the kite. How did you come to school? Ms. Jan asked Zia. Ms. Jan asked Zia how she came to school. Look this one. How did you make the kite? How did you make the cake? Number three. How did you make how did you make the kite? Number one. This is the example. Check this one. How did you make the kite? And the kite. Kashima Zora asked. Zora asked. Zia. Zora. Zora asked Zia this one. The last portion of the sentence, right from the beginning of the answer, Zora asked Zia how he how he made change to made the kite. Full stop. Then you have got the did, and here I told you past indefinite tense, then I write the second form of the verb here. Make change into make, 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 second form of the verb. And the rest of the other structure of sentence will be the same. Number three, put this one. How did you make the cake? Usma asked her mother. Usma, You change into he. Usma asked her mother, mother, how this is mother, that's why here we have got the pronoun she. Then we have got the feminine, any type of name here, but link with the feminine one. We have to write a she at place of that feminine uh, person. And if we have both the masculine uh, one, we have both the he. 
we have got the feminine one, we have got the she. Mother, this is the feminine one, that's why mother, how she? Made the cake. Made a cake. Number four. How did you lose uh, your, your bag, Mrs. Shah asked Zohra. How? Mrs. Shah asked Zohra. Mrs. Shah asked Zohra. Zohra, how she lost her bag. Mrs. Shah asked Zohra how she lost her bag. Zohra, because your is come, uh, come first, that's why we change them into her bag. Number five. How did you find the shop we asked Uzma? We asked Uzma. Uzma. We asked Uzma. How she found the shop? How she found the shop? Last one, how did you break your arm? They asked Zia, they asked Zia, they asked Zia how he broke his arm. How he broke his arm. I hope you understood this one. Write it well, briefly complete this page, page number 38-31, page number 32, this is chapter number 15, page number 32 from your workbook. What is it? Answer the question beginning with the words given. When is he going home? This is the example. When is he going home? When is he going home? Answer is I don't know. Begin with this one. I don't know when he is going home. When he is going home. Full stop. Start your answer with these words. I don't know. Then write when. After then, you have to write uh, subject, he, she, it, whatever the subject is. When he, after this one, you have to write verb. This is verb. And this is part of the verb and full stop. At this question mark, this is simple one, change them into the simple one. Uh, home. He is going home. Look this one, second one, when we they paint the door, I will ask. Whatever the verb is, you have to uh, write with the same one. There is a written I will, future definite tense, that's why we have to start with this one. I will ask them, they change to them. When they will paint the door, when they will paint the door. Uh, number three, 
when are they coming back? They cannot tell us when they are coming back. Number three. In the blanks, when they are coming back. When they are coming back. When they are coming back. When you can come to see me, I will tell you tomorrow when you can come to see me. When you can come to see me. When you can come to see me. Just listen carefully. We have finished this one. Number five. When will he do it? He is not sure when he will do it. Number six. When is she going to stop singing? We do not know when she is going to stop singing. Number seven. When does the sun rise? I will find out when the sun rises. Because this is the uh, conditional based sentence. I will find out when the sun arises. Uh, uh, we have to use uh, S with the help of uh, present indefinite tense. With the first form of the verb, we have to use S R P S. That's why at the end, when the sun rises, don't write when the sun rises. Rises. Number eight. When does the postman come to the school? I cannot tell you when the postman comes. Right? Comes. Present indefinite tense with the singular noun to the school. Number nine, when will the holidays begin? Ask your teacher when the holidays will begin. Tell, when are you going to have a new coat? You must ask my mother when you are going to have a new coat. Number eleven, what time does he get home? I will ask him what time he gets home. It also comes the present indefinite tense. Number twelve, when we she tell us a story. I don't know when she will tell us a story. Rest of other, we have to finish this. A number 33. These are the boxes. And we have got some special sort of words like this one across. Number one, you wear it on your head. This is what you do when you give a shopkeeper the money. What is that one? Look this one. What you do when you give a shopkeeper shopkeeper money. 
the mind. We have got this three sentence. First one, a close. Second one, you wear it on your head. What are you uh, wearing on your head? This is what you do when you give a show people money. We have got money. Then uh, what else? What you are wearing on your head, and then a close. Look this one. Number one, cap. C A P. Cap. We are wearing cap. Number two, C A T cat. Number three, try. You go to show and try and then pay. P A Y P. Payment is mean money. We are wearing cap. We got try. As far as cat is concerned, we got the toy uh, in form of cat and we have to pay the money to the shopkeeper. The second one, a close. It comes after three. What comes after three, four? You dash be careful, said the teacher. Okay. Form. For rest, must careful," uh, said the teacher. "You uh, must be careful," said the teacher. Look this one. Second option. First one. What comes after three, four? This is. Chapter Pin Page number thirteen, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty one, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, and thirty three. Complete it. Complete. Four. Okay, dear student. The rest of the other one you have to complete this one. Think about the sentence. Then you have got the idea. How did I do it on the board? And follow that instruction. Be careful about these uh, some special sort of uh, sentences. And then think over it, and then make words over here. Okay, dear student. Today we have finished our uh, letter number twenty-one from your book. Uh, complete that one. Whatever the homework is given to you, uh, thirty, number thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, and thirty-three. You have to complete that one at home in a very good way. Uh, wish you the very best of luck. Allah Hafiz.